What is going on guys? Oh my god, that sun is bright. You can tell it's winter time in Florida when the pool cover's on. Um getting a late start today. It's like 5 p.m. Look at this thing just sitting out here. Can't wait to drive it. I'm gonna do a little bit of work on the 240 today. Actually, you know what? I take that back. I was gonna do a little bit of work on the 240 today, but now I'm going to pick up some parts. Um Big shout out to the Maverick Motorsports guys. If you guys don't know who Maverick is, um, they make a dual caliper bracket. Oh, now it's dark. A dual caliper bracket for uh, your rear S chassis knuckle so that you can run two calipers for a handbrake. And the most important thing they make is some um, bushings so that you can run a 350Z diff in an S chassis. And this is going to fix my gearing. I'm not gonna have to be in fourth gear on the skid pad at OSW anymore. I'm really excited. So obviously I have 350Z axles already. I was using the Villain Stubs. Um, Ray at 1K Motorsports down south. They have a Z diff there that's already welded. It's the gear ratio that I want. So I think I'm gonna drive down there today and pick that up. It's a three hour drive and that kind of sucks, but I'm gonna get it anyways. And Maverick makes the bushings that basically like they're offset bushings so that the stock so it can bolt up in the stock location. You don't have to modify anything. Um, the other thing I'm going to pick up, I'm going to stop by this place down by Tampa and pick up a new switch panel holder thing since mine's ugly. And this guy's whole job is making them and they look really solid. So I'm going to pick one of those up. They're pretty reasonably priced. We'll look at it when we get it. It actually comes with mounting hardware also. So you don't have to be a freaking dummy and drill a hole in your dash. Um, so that's what I'm going to do. No intake manifold still. There's still a lot to do on the car. My spare wise fab stuff showed up to Injuku, still waiting on a hood. I've got to pop out the, uh, the other bushings that are in the back there. You probably can't see them, but oh yeah, they're the gold ones back there behind the fuel cell. So I got to pull those out. Not a huge deal. And, uh, yeah, not a huge deal. So waiting for Raven to get back from the old chiropractor and then I'm gonna hop in the truck and head south. So quick little update, I'm on the road now. I'm not gonna go pick up that diff today. Um, Raven wants to hang out and, you know, girlfriend stuff. So I'm just going to pick up this bezel for the uh, dash and my switch panel. Um, another thing, I know a lot. this won't mean anything to a lot of you, but if you listen to hardcore music, I, I suggest you guys check out the new Backtrack album. It's fucking fire. I've been waiting for Backtrack to drop a new album forever. So, just check it out. In two miles. All right, so I drove all the way down to Clearwater to pick this up. After you guys talked all that shit about the one I made, I went to the professionals, I picked one up. I'm at LRB Speed. They got this RX-7 in here, it's pretty sick. And if you guys don't know who they are, they do like aluminum, uh, door cards, rear seat deletes on S14s, S13 and S14 um, bezels for like radio bezels. Yeah, and then. Is this an S13 one? Yep. I know I got a lot of S13 viewers, so they might be interested in this. Make your car look a little more race car. Nothing wrong with that. Um, but this is cheap. I came down here to pick this up for, actually I, I was a dollar short, but $69 I bought this for, and it comes with all the necessary hardware to mount it to the dash. Well, I didn't know this because I drove here, but uh, cash price, if you want to pick one up will call or whatever they're 70 and if you're gonna order it uh, with your card it's gonna be 85 Correct. 85 and this is the mounting uh, bracket that kind of bolts to the uh, stock like braces that go across behind your radio uh, mine aren't there anymore so I'm not sure how I'm gonna use this but we're gonna try and utilize it somehow you got your hardware directions and a sticker Back on the road, just made a quick stop at Chipotle, Raven's favorite non-real Mexican food restaurant. Also mine, headed home now. 
Now that I've made it home, you can see this panel a little bit better. It's a little bit brighter in here. My fingerprints are all over it, but it looks really good. I've already started pulling out the uh, terrible, terrible, terrible one that I made. After seeing this and then seeing mine, it's a whole nother world. So, yeah, that thing's coming out. It's pretty freaking cold in here. Um, but yeah, that thing's gonna come out. And that has to go in. Lots of people have been bringing up uh, Aero body kits for 2018. And uh, I did a lot of thinking about it. And uh, you know, there are these polyurethane companies out there that make body kits. Um, the problem is with polyurethane, if for some reason it tears, which that's what will happen, it'll tear if something bad happens. Um, there's no fixing that. Now, in about a couple hours, I could fix this bumper, if need be. Uh, so I think I'm gonna stay with fiberglass, and if I'm gonna stay fiberglass, there's only one body kit to get, and that's a Super Doof 2F Performance Kit. I love it, I had it on my S13. Um, yeah, so I'm getting one, and I'm excited. Hopefully get two here soon, that way I have a spare. All the brands that I worked with last year are the same brands I'm going to work with this year. But there's going to be one addition. And I'm not going to say what yet. And, uh, or what it is, who it is, what it's for. But it's around this area. And you guys are going to guess turbo. I already know that you guys are going to say that or supercharger. It is not that. So... Just let your minds wander a little bit. Locked it up to make sure it fits in there good. Not saying that I don't trust those guys, but I never bought anything from them before. And, and to be honest, I'm extremely happy with the way it looks. I actually love it. I'll walk around this side so you guys can see. Um, a world of difference. So shout out to those dudes for making great product. Um, I actually think that the tabs that are in there are still gonna work. So, I think we're good. So now that I've made sure that everything inside the interior is good for that new panel, I've gotta cut this rear bash bar off because like I've said like a hundred times, we're redoing it. This one kinda looks like a wing, honestly, doesn't it? Yeah, I don't know. We're gonna chop it off right now though and, and uh, clean up this uh, fuel cell enclosure and get ready for a new one. So now that we got it off, you can see I still have these stubs here. And I could have probably gotten a little closer. And I might go back over and clean it up. Like, get it lower. Cut it lower with the cutting wheel and then take a flap disc and really clean it up. So it almost looks like it was never there. Now that I've got them down a lot further, it's going to be a lot easier to go over these with the flap disc and really clean it up. I basically got it down to the welds. So... The only thing I'm really grinding off now is going to be the welds. Alright, so obviously it took the paint off, but uh, it's pretty smooth. Probably do a little once over, try and clean everything up a little bit more. <clears throat> this side, same thing, real close to being done. It's very cold and it's late. I wanted to get this video out tonight, but it took longer than I thought to drive down and pick up that bezel. And, uh... Yeah, it's cold and I haven't got to hang out with Raven all day. So I'm gonna go hang out with her. And tomorrow we should have a full video working on the car. And yeah, that's what I'd like to like to do. Hopefully you guys aren't sick of uh, updates on the car uh, and working on it. I know that like through the process of building the car, it kind of got boring and outplayed just always doing different shit on the car even like the same stuff over over and over again because maybe there was a mess up or it took a really long time to do one specific thing i'm sure it kind of got old so i'm going to try and not do that this time but i know that my water pump's coming back tomorrow 
which means that the front of the engine can go back together, all the accessories. Um, we can run the line to the expansion tank. The radiator can go back in. All that good stuff. So there's a decent amount of stuff to do tomorrow with that. Also cleaning this up the rest of the way and working on getting the switch panel installed and finalized. So, see you guys tomorrow. Peace.